Uh, Daniel, uh, I have an important question for you. Yes. Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Tuma. It's not a Tuma. <laughs> um, so this is this is part this is more of a typical classic movie review where uh, Daniel has seen it before and I have not. Yes, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd seen it all the way through. I know, uh, or maybe I had. I just don't I, didn't remember it. It, it's, it sounds it like you'd seen back to me, but yeah, it's not like you'd seen more of it than I had at least. That's true. Yeah. Where my exposure to this one is, uh, this is a this movie has some very memeable moments, and I've seen a lot of people like use little clips of it from different uh, in different YouTube videos over the years. Yeah. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. <laughs> and shut up! Shut up! <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this is a. So this was a. Was this another Reitman movie? Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, we talked. We talked at length about Ghostbusters earlier, so it fits. Yeah. I want to say this was the second Ivan Reitman and Arnold Schwarzenegger collaboration after Twins. Uh, I believe so. Yes, because yeah. I think I think this one came out before the one where he got pregnant. Yeah, um, this one was uh, 1990, I believe, and yeah, Junior, I want to say was 94, 95. That sounds right. From yeah, when I looked up Ryan on Wikipedia a couple weeks back. Yeah. Um, so th this story is based on a uh, amusing premise, which is basically. You take the world's biggest action star, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and uh, you put him in the role of having to deal with a classroom full of 30 children. Yeah, uh, yeah, 36-year-old th children, yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, the the things that can go wrong write themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I say that the, the opening framing device... Uh, is feels very different than the rest of the movie. I think that's on purpose. Uh, I think, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, because yeah, Daniel, I've been enjoying on enough. Uh, oh yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, like the first, yeah, the first part of the movie is uh, Schwarzenegger's uh, character, John Kimball. He's a uh, LAPD cop, and he's uh, tailing a criminal um, named uh, Crisp, and uh, he's following them through a mall. Uh, and yeah, it's it, the uh, and Chris was trying to uh, he meets with this kind of like low life kind of guy in the back of the in the back of the mall and uh tells him about like you know he said, Oh, yeah, I saw your ex and and uh his, his ex wife and and their kid and their kid and and he's really interested in where it is where they are and then he tells them and then shoots he shoots the guy and then uh you know uh Schwarzenegger's chasing him through the mall and then uh eventually arrests him uh at the at the salon with where his mom is getting her hair done um and uh and then so then the, and then Arnold meets his uh, his new uh, partner. It was a woman. Uh, I can't remember what the name of her character was. Um, um, I was just looking that up. Um, uh, here we go. It was Penelope Ann Miller as uh, Joyce oh, Palmieri. Oh, that, that that's the um. The oh, damn case, it! You're right. <laughs> okay, uh, Heidi. Heidi. Sweet. Heidi. No, no, that's Joshua's mother. How far down on this list did? Oh, here we go. Pamela Reed as Detective Phoebe O'Hara. Phoebe, okay, Phoebe O'Hara, yeah, and um, and I, I would have thought that Wikipedia would have listed Phoebe earlier than the love interest. Uh, yeah, considering <laughs> she's a bigger part of the movie. Yeah, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, so um, they find out that uh, his uh, the criminal's ex-wife uh, is and her and their son is in uh, Astoria, Oregon. Of course, the problem is they don't know who who she is. They don't know what she looks like. They don't know what the kid looks like. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so, uh, so Arnold and his partner and Phoebe they uh, they have to go to Astoria, and uh, they they establish that the the kid is going to school. Uh, he's in the kindergarten at the school, and uh, and so they're trying to find out like, okay, well, who's uh, you know who the kid is. 
and uh, so she, at first she was going to be teaching the kindergarten because she has experience as a teacher. Uh, but then when they land in Portland and then they're driving to Astoria, she gets a very violent case of, of food poisoning. <laughs> so he, so now Arnold is the one who has to teach the class instead. Right. They make the switch at the last possible minute. Yeah. Yeah. And it is kind of interesting. Uh, it's like the, the first, they spent a, a longer time on the setup than I was expecting. Yeah, they did. Um, yeah. Cause you're, you're kind of like, you know, it's because what it was, it was like 30 minutes into the movie, I think, before they finally get to yeah Portland or get to Oregon or Astoria. At least 30 minutes before he uh, actually starts teaching the class. But yeah, yeah the, but like uh, they do a good job of setting up Crisp as the, the drug dealer as a violent asshole. Uh, yes. The, they establish his mother as a controlling force in his life. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Uh, they establish that Arnold is also a jerk because, uh, oh, he has this witness who refuses to testify, and he just shows up at a drug den she's at and starts blasting things with his shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your best friend. I'm going to be hanging out with you all the time. We'll get to know each other very well. <laughs> Basically bludgeoning her into, into testifying. Or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and, and well, yeah. And if you notice when he was going through shooting and stuff, he, he didn't shoot anybody. Like nobody actually gets shot in there. Yeah. Right. He just shot around people. Yeah. Um, yeah. This movie has a very low body count, I noticed. Yeah. Um, really just, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, I think um, three. Three or four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Four. Four. Yeah. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, like so. It's like, it's interesting because it takes a while to get to the title premise, which is you know he's having to be uh, be a cop, right, or right. be a teacher, right? Yeah. And, and as somebody who tried and decided that teaching was not for him, um, I, I definitely uh, it was a weird. Okay, so I was dealing with asshole eighth graders. <laughs> so this is so it's like these kindergartners were both more needy but also like sweet and liked him or, or wanted to like him yeah <laughs> so uh this is it was like the warm and fuzzy version of what i was dealing with uh yeah yeah i, I wouldn't i wouldn't want to deal with asshole eighth, grade, eighth graders either i didn't yeah. i didn't want to when i was in the eighth grade <laughs> yes <Yeah. laughs> but um and so you have kind of some predictable shenanigans. Uh, you know, Schwarzenegger is a rough and tumble cop who doesn't like people. Like I think that as long as that opening scene was, you had to establish that he's a violent man who is not afraid to shout and intimidate to get what he wants. But then you mm -hmm. put him with the, like the group of people who that is not going to work on. No, yeah. they're just going to cry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is what happens. Yeah, when he yeah the yeah when he yells at them to shut up, they're all just like. <laughs> and he makes the mistake of leaving them alone for two minutes and everything just goes to chaos yeah <laughs> uh, and so like the big charm of the movie is just watching him interact with this classroom of kids and you know slowly bond with them and, and he figures out how to reach them by basically turning classroom into police boot camp uh, yeah <laughs> from now on we're doing police school Yes. When I blow the whistle once, you can go and get a toy. When I blow the whistle twice, you take the toy back. Yes. <laughs> and he's making a march around the one, two, three, four. <laughs> I don't know what I've been told. <laughs> yes. Uh, so in the, in the background of this, you have a few other plot lines going on. Uh, you you do have like a little. You do have some red herrings about who the um, mother and the child could be. Yeah. Because. Uh, it, 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 it just occurred to me right now. This was a total like setup. Oh, yeah, Astoria is the single mother or, uh, capital of the world. Because uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to, you need it. You know, it couldn't be somebody who had a you know had a husband, and it had to be people who he could interact with. Yeah, and like, supposedly the the Crisp's uh, wife had stolen three million dollars from him. So it's like right. you're looking for signs of somebody who was throwing money around, and there was this one woman who was. Right. Yeah. And, and, um, yeah, he had the, the, the son who, uh, liked to play with, she was worried about her son because he liked to play with dolls. 
<laughs> and he said, oh, yeah, he uses the dolls to look up girls' skirts. And, and that, re went, oh. that relieves her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was like, oh, <laughs> Which struck me as a funny reaction. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you got, you got some, uh, so you got some uh, fish out of water stuff with him. Mm -hmm. uh, the character who I thought was the strangest was, uh, was actually uh, Phoebe, uh, his partner. Like her character, her characterization was that she was a food addict because she was hypoglycemic, so she was constantly eating. Yes, and uh, yeah, and there's a very awkward scene in there where her her fiance shows up, and yeah, does, 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 does she meet this fiance in town? Like, uh, no, uh, no, I think they already they're already knew each other, and and he just like flew he, in. He, he flew in to yeah to visit her. Okay, because I wasn't clear on that because I almost thought did she to get bored while she was waiting for Arnold to find out <laughs> things and decide to get herself a fiance who was a chef. Okay. <laughs> uh, that would have been funny, but no, 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 no. I think, I think they were already like together before. Yeah. Before that, which uh, that is an awful idea to fly your spouse. when you're trying to be undercover. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I actually don't really have a whole lot to criticize this movie for it. The opening seemed overlong, but in retrospect, you did have to establish some things about the world and the characters. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, I will say it kind of uh, I, I might have been a little a little too cutesy at times, but um, but overall, no, I, I didn't. I don't have too many criticisms of it. I'll I'll give them some extra. Um, praise for the villain Crisp because mm -hmm. they did a good job of establishing his relationship with his controlling mother. Yeah, who, um, who was definitely like in on his crimes and was also a monster in her uh, in her own way. Yeah, yeah, and and um, yeah, there, there's a real funny scene in there where they're at the pharmacy and she's yeah. buying like all this like children's medication, like children's at child and all and and yep. you know all antihistamines and yeah yeah and he, he's like like mom you forces this this stuff down me and then nothing and i never got sick or anything it's because i forced this stuff on you that you <laughs> never got sick <laughs> yeah it's definitely controlling and you can kind of see where um his more violent tendencies came from and his own yeah. desire to control his son and family yeah, yeah. um also, the sidebar, he looks exactly like a very unhinged former coworker I had. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, and so it's interesting. Like, you kind of have like, like the movie starts off as an intense crime drama, mm. almost like a serious version of 48 Hours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then it turns into a cutesy fish out of water comedy with Arnold dealing with the little children's. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's serious is up at the end. Yeah. And one thing I'll give this movie a lot of credit for, it is very good with, with its setup and payoff. It is. Yeah. Like uh, they have a scene where um, one little boy, you know, oh, when the bad people show up, I, I have these devices that make lasers that keep them away. And mm -hmm. um, oh, and he thinks the bad people are showing up. He climbs up the water tower like he said he would. Yeah. Uh, they had a schrodinger's ferret that was introduced early on who was oh, yeah. arnold's pet and they make good use of it in the finale yeah yeah and um there's a there's a scene with uh where they're doing a fire drill and yep and I, yeah he, like a, i think what the hard ass principle is that oh you know the, the kindergarten class is terrible at the fire drill and she lays into all the students for not doing well with the fire drill and yeah. in the end they do have to do a fire drill yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um so yeah, uh, overall this was a this was a charming movie. Um, I, I I can you know we were, we were talking before the show and uh, I compared to this. Uh, I, I felt like I enjoyed this one more than Twins. Uh, for you, kind of had the opposite opinion. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I I I enjoyed I enjoyed Twins a little bit better uh, than this one, but I mean I can I can understand why you'd like like this one. Uh, I think this is definitely a case where um, like I was finding all the stuff with him and the kids charming where you were thinking it was like a little bit too cutesy. So yeah. that, 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 that's probably the difference. Yeah. Yeah. 
but overall, uh, it, it's always refreshing when you watch a movie that you mostly know by the memes and the parodies, and it turns out to actually be worthy in and of itself. Yes, <laughs> indeed. It, it's not high art, but it you know it promises you a out of a fish out of water comedy with Arnold Schwarzenegger and a bunch of cute kids, and it delivers. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, Daniel, I think this is the first time in a while where we, like, everything we reviewed, we mostly, yeah, we, we enjoyed. Like, it's... Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, it's, a, it's a, it's a nice change of pace from the, oh, this really sucked. Oh, this was terrible. Oh, yeah. 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 I, 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 like, or something, sort of, well, that was the one good thing we watched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you know, as long as X-Men 97 keeps up the quality, uh, well, that, that'll bring up the batting average. Indeed, yeah. 